From past episodes, Doc Yoon revealed to Ju Won that the unfolding situation was tied to Kim Do Seek. This disclosure harkened back to when Do Seek vanished, having been dispatched north by Min Young Jun. Back then, the North lacked extraordinarily powered individuals. However, that incident ignited the North's quest to identify people like Do Seek, leading them to agents tasked with procuring the NTPD files from the South. Consequently, many were rigorously trained and subsequently drafted into governmental roles. Mi Yan, upon discovering Du Seek's predicament, instinctively sensed the depth of the issue. Determined to comprehend the North agent's unexpected southern infiltration, she sought Kong Hoon Hoon, cognizant of another target within the school. As the situation escalated, Il Wan joined the fray, facing fierce opposition, especially from Yong Duk, who incapacitated an aging Ju Wan. Yet, post-recovery, Ju Wan assisted, notably saving Jemon from being shot while protecting Kong Hoon. Jemon reached the school in just a minute, tapping into his full capabilities. The observing officer was taken aback by his speed, something unattainable for the average person. It's worth noting that Jemon is currently on probation due to past offenses. Together, they subdued most North agents at the school. Mi Yan, however, sensed a deeper motive. Why were the North testing their children? Their investigation was fueled by the South's advancements, driving them despite their military constraints and inability to start families. Those students under scrutiny faced potential abduction or, worse, elimination. Recognizing this, Mi Yan believed eradicating the examiners was paramount for their children's safety. Since all the North agents in the school were neutralized, their leader, Doc Yoon, decided to summon Jun Hua and an undisclosed individual to the school. Speculation arose about a specially powered agent concealed within their vehicle, to be called upon only in emergencies. This concealed agent was believed to possess abilities akin to Jedo, given the similarities in the powers of agents from both sides. Given Jedo's awareness of Jun Hua's exceptional nature, he might investigate Bong Sok and He Su's whereabouts, potentially assisting them in safeguarding the students. Meanwhile, Bong Sok and He Su collaborated in their fight against Jun Hua. Despite their combined prowess and synergy, incapacitating Jun Hua was a monumental task. Yet Jun Hua, having received a summons to assist other agents at the school and having tested Bong Sok sufficiently, decided to retreat. Although he still felt the need to further evaluate He Su. The duo attempted to obstruct his escape, but Jun Hua, desperate to reach the school, resorted to shooting He Su. Fortunately, her body had regenerative capabilities. While Bong Sok pursued Jun Hua, He Su followed suit. Upon arrival, Doc Yoon instructed Jun Hua to eliminate all obstacles. Mi Yan confronted them, aiming a gun at Doc Yoon demanding Jun Hua's cessation of hostilities. The situation intensified when Bong Sok appeared, attacking Jun Hua. During the skirmish, Mi Yan urged Bong Sok to flee, but he refused, weary of running and hiding. Witnessing her son's bravery, Mi Yan supported him. Doc Yun tried to coerce Mi Yan and Bong Sok into joining their cause, threatening them with information about Du Seek. Du Seek was imprisoned in the north after a trap was set by Min Young Jun, using the revelation of his son's information as leverage. It was during this time that Du Seek encountered Doc Yoon for a second time. Faced with the sight of Jun Hua aiming at Bong Sok, Mi Yan called for help, placing her faith in an incoming Ju Wan. She was confident that Du Seek would return to them and refused to accompany the north agents. Heeding Mi Yan's voice, Kong Hoon and his father came to Bong Sok's aid, besting Jun Hua. As Jun Hua, severely wounded, attempted to flee to the north, Bong Sok relentlessly pursued him. He remembered what his mom had told him before. A hero has compassion towards others. Bong Sok eventually let the injured Jun Hua go, hoping he'd reunite with his family. Bong Sok then returned to his mother, telling her that everything would be fine. Using his skills, Ju Wan defeated Doc Yoon, demonstrating that determination trumps age. The fight between the South and North will make the school building collapse. Right now, I hope Du Seek will arrive to rescue Mi Yan and Bong Sok. In a recent interview, the writer mentioned that the ending would differ from the Watoon. 
He also added that it would be the conclusion would tune fans have been hoping for. After Il Wan alerted the police, the scene was evacuated upon their arrival. Later, only Kong Hoon and He Su graduated, while Bong Sok disappeared without a trace. Government agents briefly took over but left covertly. Il Wan safeguarded the NTPD files, using them as leverage against Min Yong Jun. The night's events were kept secret due to a security guard's timely call to Min Yong Jun. Kong Hoon partnered with Min Yong Jun to uphold his father's legacy, while He Su achieved her college aspirations with a scholarship. Meanwhile, Bong Sok covertly used his abilities to help others. After an agonizing separation, Du Seek finally reunites with his family, meeting Bong Sok. Don't miss the final three episodes this Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.